Hi, how's it going guys? My name is Nikos, one of the technical support here in Bulk Discounts Now app. Today, I'm going to show you some quick final setup on your Bulk Discounts Now app settings to make sure everything is perfect before leaving the app dashboard. First, make sure that there is already an existing discount group on your app. If you haven't made one yet, feel free to pause the video, go to YouTube, and check how to set up a Bulk Discount offer on your Shopify store. It should be on their website on demand support account. After making sure that the discount group is active, we can now proceed to the settings tab. Under settings tab, please hover your mouse to general and click. We have four sections under general. We have multiple discount group behavior, cart page, collections, and advanced settings. For multiple discount group behavior section, you have options to pick from greatest discount, oldest discount group, or the newest discount group. This will determine what discount group should be applied when a product is added to the cart and if the product is included in multiple discount groups. For the cart page section, there are options that I personally highly suggest we enable and the rest depends on whether you want them to be visible for your store. The first three options are show discount log, show discount requirement, and the next year upsell offer. They are shown next to the total amount on the cart page and these are customizable under Language tab. Fourth and fifth options are highly related to your cart road. This is to make sure that our app runs its script on your Ajax. If you encounter any problems such as discount not showing on your cart drawer, please don't hesitate to give us a chat. The sixth, seventh, and eighth options are the things I highly suggest be enabled. To show the line item discount is showing the discounted price of the product and the total for each line item. The last option, which is reload the cart page discount after page load, is 100% must have if you want the discount to keep updating every time the customer changes the quantity of the product added to the cart on your cart page. Third sections in general tab is the collections section. This is to make sure that all collections are synced, products are updated on your Shopify store. Last but not the least is the advanced settings section. This is just an option for you to enable to show the discounts for logged in customers. As always, feel free to contact support if you need any additional help. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching.